Hey there, welcome to Q&A Friday. Over the last few months, I have been talking all things digital products and how life-changing it has been. We have seen a lot of people launch their stores and I'm so proud of you all. If it is your first time on my channel, you have arrived on Q&A Friday and every Friday, I answer a question from our community here on YouTube, on Facebook, on Instagram, LinkedIn, or everywhere on our email list, etc. And today's question is amazing. If you love uh, this video, please don't forget to at like, subscribe, turn on your notification because we publish three times a week. And why not do me a favor and actually share that video? So without further ado, I want to jump into answering today's question because it is a good one. So let me jump in. So today's question is amazing. Today's question is this, and it says, I'm all new to this and wondering how much money uh, do you need on average to start an Etsy business? Okay. Now this is a really, really, really uh, great question. So I want to go back to my own journey to when I first started um, selling uh, digital products. I want to talk about selling digital products in general, then I'm going to touch on selling digital products on Etsy itself. When I first started selling digital products, I didn't actually spend any money. I um, created my product and um, I already had um, a, a VA actually at that time who was working on other things and I just asked her to help me to design the product. So in terms of what it is that you may spend money on, it's if you need to design your digital product. But I'll be very honest with you, these things are very easy to do. When you uh, get onto a platform such as Canva, which is free to use, by the way, when you get onto a platform like Canva, there are a ton of templates that are already pre-built and all you have to do is add your text into those templates, perhaps change the colors a little bit. So my point is it doesn't need to cost you anything if you are selling digital products. The only thing that I would say that it does cost you is time. So that's to do with the product creation itself. The second thing I want to talk about the, of where you might invest some money is if you are running any type of paid traffic to generate um, buyers or sales to your product. So when I started, I started completely organically because I didn't have the money to run paid ads. But then within the first 30 days of uh, doing a lot of the organic stuff, I generated $65,000 um, from the sales of my product. So I started completely organically. But then I did start running Facebook ads a little bit later on and that does cost quite a lot of money to do. But I didn't mind doing that because once you know how to do Facebook ads really well, you know how to make your money on the back end. So again, in terms of what it might cost you, um, you only pay if you are driving paid traffic. So I've covered what it might cost you to develop a product, what it might cost you if you are running ads. And by the way, let me add this. When it comes to developing the product, if you're going to outsource, you can outsource very cheaply on sites such as Fiverr.com. I've had people who have created their product for $10 altogether, four pounds or $4 or anything like that. I'm talking the cost of a Starbucks, guys. Like seriously, it does not break the bank. It doesn't cost you an and a leg to get your initial products out through the door. So the next thing I want to cover right now is what does it cost you on Etsy itself as a platform. Assuming you have your products uh, already and now you are going to be selling on Etsy. To list your products on Etsy, it costs you 20 cents per listing, which is stupid cheap. Am I right? That's what it costs you. And then there is a transaction cost when somebody purchases the product. So when it comes to selling on Etsy, there's a number of fees that you should know about, such as your listing fees, your postal label fees, if you're going to be posting something to your clients, transaction fees, VAT, and of course, advertising fees, if you're going to be running ads on Etsy. So I'm going to jump to my laptop right now, because there's a really great document that um, shows you all of the various listing fees or rather the fees that you need to expect from Etsy. And I think it's best that we look at it together and we can dissect it together. So let me jump behind my laptop and show you that right now. So I've got this great document that shows all of the fees that you should expect if you are selling on Etsy. So we are going to link this below this video, but um, we can talk about a little bit of the fees um, here. So you can see that there are all sorts of fees such as listing fees, Posted label fees, transaction fees, VAT, pattern, advertising fees, and Etsy payments and deposit fees. The main fee that you need to think about when starting over is definitely your listing fees. And you can see over here that it's only 20 cents per listing. Now, this fee is added to your payment account when the item is listed. So this fee, it has to be paid whether you sell an item or not. In fact, the moment you list the item, just imagine that you are paying 20 cents for every single item listed, but it's not a lot of money. It's a very tiny um, amount of money and that should be fine. 
Now, FC has a rule that all listings expire after four months. Now, you can, um, when you set up your listing, you can um, make your listing so that it auto renews, which means that after the four months, it would get relisted again. Now, when your listing gets auto renewed, you pay another 20 cents, which is what it's talking about here. Auto renew expired. This says fee added. When a listing is auto renewed, it has to be paid regardless of resulting results. A listing expires after four months. When a listing is auto renewed, the four month listing period starts over. So you know that every time you list a product is 20 cents, and just imagine that every uh, four months, it's 20 cents again for that same product. So um, then you have other things um, in here, such as auto renew sold and private listing fee, again, both 20 cents. So uh, the fees are really, really low. Now, obviously for postage, uh, for postage, you can choose to charge for postage or not, and that's completely fine. But then there are transaction fees, and I think this is where the bulk of the fees are. So 6.5% of the total order amount in your designated listing currency, this is what the transaction fee is. This fee applies to postage and gift wrapping if you charge your customers for those. Fee amount is converted to your payment account currency at the market rate where your listing and payment account currencies differ. Now, it says here that this is different to the Etsy payments processing fee. So this is different to the actual processing fees or the listing fees. It doesn't include transaction fees incurred with the pattern. Um, etc. So I feel that this document um, is really worth uh, looking at. However, I still stand by the fact that I think even looking through all of this, like VAT obviously varies from business to business, from person to person, advertising fees, if you're going to be running ads off of Etsy or on Etsy, of course, we pay for those things. If you are just starting out, you do not need to be running any um, type of advertising whatsoever on Etsy or off Etsy to begin with. Well, some people do, but I say don't do that. Start off, make some money um, organically using SEO and just writing really great titles and keywords, and then you can choose to advertise. Besides that, the only fee you really need to worry about um, is your listing fee because your processing fee doesn't come out, or rather the transaction fee doesn't get taken out until you've made a sale. The, so the only thing you need to think about is that 20 cents to list the product. So I think it's um, I think it's pretty fair. I will be linking to this document under the video so that uh, you can take a look for yourself as well. Um, but I think um, this is pretty good. It's pretty doable for anybody. 20 cents to list your item and you're good to go. So I hope that um, that has really encouraged you to see that you need very little money to get started. You don't need to break the bank uh, to get started or anything like that. I think that this is one of the easiest uh, types of businesses to start because it costs you next to nothing to do it and very little time. And of course, if you're selling on a site like Etsy, as you know, it's a marketplace. And that means that people are already looking for what it is that you are going to be selling to them. So your advertising costs will be way less because you are selling in a marketplace. I hope that you found um, value in this let me know below if you uh, have any questions about this or anything that you want me to answer in the next uh, Q&A session and that we run every single Friday if you haven't already make sure you grab our digital product starter kit in it I have a lot of goodies for you that will help you to launch like that launch your products at your digital product store launch it really really quickly because it has everything that you need in it from what specs your product needs to be the, the uh, a list of 100 best-selling products how to deliver your products to your customers how to find your clients and how to bring them to your store all of that is included in the digital product starter kit and it is all for free free. So the link will be below this video. Make sure you grab that. And if you enjoyed this, don't forget to subscribe and give it a share. Share it with somebody who you know is going to find value as well. Perhaps they have a similar question. Share it with them. You'll be doing me and them a massive favor. All right, guys, I love you. I look forward to seeing your comments and I'll see you in my next video. See you then.